Hello everyone, thanks for checking back in with the Let's Look Brad channel. So this is actually going to be a little different um, piece here. Usually I do a lot of the American stuff, so this right here is actually going to be foreign. And I'm actually quite surprised on a lot of these foreign coins that this is just a small little booklet of things I've been looking through for NGC and the different dates that I've had. You see 1920s, there's 1863, so forth, so on, 1881 uh 20 wrapping stuff like that so this is kind of what the pricing is and this is just kind of on the low end of what i'm looking at and a lot of this stuff i i haven't even got to i mean as you see i've got two extra bags of foreign stuff here of just random silver uh random nickel a lot of the older stuff i just haven't even looked there i've been holding on to these for years uh, a lot of canadian cents in here let's see if we can see them a little bit yeah, a lot of Canadian cents in there, a lot of 1800 stuff that still stacks up in there. And then all of this right here is what I got when I went to England here recently. The extra pounds and the extra pence and stuff like that. So a lot of this stuff is newer, 2016. So yeah, a lot of this newer stuff that they got here. But anyhow, um, so back over here to this binder, which is kind of crazy because I, I, I've taken a gander through a lot of these. You know just look it through to see and this is in alphabetical order so basically this is going to start as you see up here from uh last what does it say africa and uganda east africa it goes to south africa west africa come down here argentina argentina flip it over aruba aruba so 196 countries of coins that are stacked in this album and uh pretty intricate a lot of stuff that i have not even looked at moran and i hear to belgium and brazil area so a lot of coins a lot of stuff to look for but the crazy thing is i've been looking online a lot of websites for foreign coin and information on them because i do have quite a few bills stacked up i got some more here got two or three more up there with some more uh uh, Iraq stuff, Iraq coins stacked up and so forth so on. So a lot of stuff to look through in this foreign coin. This is actually a, a bit of additive for the collection part that I have too. So like I said, a lot of the times when I'm not playing around with the American coin, I do come to a lot of this stuff. I pack it up, put it in a two by two flip. But as you see, that's 20, I think it's 27 pages of nonstop foreign coins now the reason why i'm mentioning i'm showing you this because also too if you're not big into collecting american coin this is also another thing too that you can come through and you can check in you can go to all sorts of pawn shops you can go to antique stores i mean a lot of this stuff as i mentioned if you go to a coin shop they just sell it per pound literally you can go over there and get a handful of coins dump them in a bag or plastic bag or what you know vice versa and then you can buy by the pound it's actually pretty cheap doing that but in return then you're you might be able to get something out of it i mean you might be able to find something that um per se you're starting a collection yourself and putting this stuff together or if you actually detail you looking for coins like i've got it written down here the 1933 george the fifth penny i've got a lot of um uh, I've got a lot of 1940s stuff, so let's come back over here just to take a gander, okay? So we come back over here, Canadian. So yeah, that's the sixth, I think it is. Yeah, George of us, the sixth, okay. So 1941, 46, 48, uh, 49. So got a lot of older Canadians here. So even that coin right there was actually worth $173,000 if you have them in a 1933 version which uh they, i think it said it was only like seven of them known which they sell for a ton of money i mean you got like i say all sorts of years dates i think it was the i think it was uh 400 coins that i looked at total that were worth a slew of money and it's 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 I guess it is portion of you know the money wise for it, but it's a portion though too. I've got so many coins and so much stuff that I've got stacked up here. I wouldn't even know what I have if I didn't go through and look at it. So, like I said, I've been through it a couple a couple of times, but you learn something new 
every week, every month, you see something that catches your eye, you come back and you double check the binders if you have it. It's just like I say, it's it's actually pretty cool. The foreign stuff I do like. I do like the the selection of everything, the way that things look. This is Bolivia, so it looks like got a few of those. Bank of Venezuela. You swap it over. That's a Cinco. So El Salvador. So it's gonna be an El Salvador bill. Another Bolivia bill there. Some more. You got some. Um, looks like Afghanistan bills here. So you come up over here. There's India bills. It's another India bill. Another India bill. Reserve Bank of India. So guaranteed by the central government. So it's just like saying it's 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 a ton of fun actually that I'm getting back into this foreign stuff and looking at it, but just checking through everything that's in these in this binder here for sure. And like I say, this is okay. And I guess before I get way too far ahead, this right here is just what I've gotten out of coin roll boxes. All of that is everything that we've pulled through coin rolls. All the Canadian cents, just a ton of Canadian cents stacked up. All these, um, I need to clear my throat. Estados, Mexicanos, pesos, and stuff like that. These were all in there. So, I mean, just these, actually, that's a token. So, I think we got, yeah, we we did get this. We got this one here, and we got another token out of it that I pulled us out a while ago. This came out of a, a box also, which was stacked up in there so a ton of tokens come with it but like i said this is everything just from the coin roll hunts that we've pulled out and that's uh that's quite a few foreigns there so anyhow I'll go back through here there's some cyphers uh cypress there some czechoslovakia come back over this way denmark france finland two pence europe there's a uh, what's the uh god fall fall roll island it's so a 1998, not too terribly old. But what's just cool is, because a lot of these coins, whenever you look through, like this one here, it's the Commonwealth. That's a 1923. So it it is it it is coins, but you would almost think it's like a uh, picker's check or um, like a token that you would take in to get, you know, money from the banks or whatnot. And so some old ones. Switzerland stuff. Now, as I mentioned, this right here, I have not put any of this under the scope. There's a Great Britain there in 1945. So I haven't put literally none of this up under the scope to check it out. So there will be doubling. There could be doubling. There could be additional dots, as per se. Some of these coins will have dots that are stacked up on, uh, on top of them from the minting error. And... 1914 Guernsey. That's a pretty cool looking coin. And like I was saying, you can go to the shops, you can go to antique shops, you can go to pawn shops, you can talk with folks who you are getting rid of this coin. You can look online and buy them throughout, you know, eBay and Mercari and stuff like that. That's an 1835 India. So this Anna is actually the Anna and the half Anna are worth quite a bit of money in a better detail. So this one here. 1835 you see the two lines on there it's not much on the reverse there i've saw a picture it looks like a wreath i want to say and some wording that's on it so yeah you can see it right there one quarter anna so pretty worn in but from 1835 I mean, that's just crazy. It's just crazy to find these. Crazy to find them in, like, shops and stuff like that. They're getting rid of them. And they're they're worth money. I mean, they're worth, you know, a couple of dollars here and there. Some of them were worth a couple of cents, you know, being as it is. But 1866 Italy, 1978. So, like I said, a lot of this stuff, if you, you're not collecting American, you can also get the... 1926 jersey shilling look at that thing this is awesome and vf4 for 250 this thing was bought years back and uh my mom had played with a lot of this stuff and like I say she kind of gave it over and then i wound up putting a lot of this stuff in jordan one kirsch 
1949 Jordan. So, like I was saying, you can definitely go through. You can definitely collect a lot of this stuff. I mean, look at the, the wrappings on these things. 1937, 1955, 52, 46, Luxembourg. So, just a slew of coins, a slew of money, a slew of stuff. And like I say, I don't even know what I have in here. You know, I, I'd have to go through, look up lists, look up NGC some more, uh, double take on what was the, um, you know, better sales, what are the top 100 coins. There's a lot of websites to go through to check these out. 1988, 1991. Look at that, Malaya, 1961, square coin. Pretty awesome. 1937, Mexico, one centavos. So definitely going to be some value somewhere in this stuff. Like I said, definitely got to get into it. Definitely got to look around. But man, look at the designs on some of this stuff too. It's just wild. Like 1956, Norway. It kind of looks copper, but it looks like it's got some zinc, one ore zinc mixed in with it. And then you got these coppers here, the greenish toning on them. There's some brass, brass nickel, 1951s, some more older ones, Paraguay. There's some older Paraguays there. Panamas, a ton of Panamas, and I've got a ton of Panamas that we pulled out of the coin roll boxes also. There's an 1884 Portugal X Rice, Rice, Port India 1958, and it looks good for 1958 also. So like I mentioned, this, this is all collectible. This is, there's some form, shape, fashion that it's gonna be collectible. There's going to be coins in here that you don't know much about. And especially if you've got your own form collection too. Like I said, double check it. Um, make sure to drop me a comment. If you see something in here that I was rolling through, moving the pages or talking about, you know, leave a comment on something on here because I'm for sure I'm not going to know a lot about it. You know, I know a lot of, I know enough about Canadians, about the yen. Um, I do know quite a bit about the Portugal stuff like this on here. Um, I do know about the Switzerland I do know about a couple other places, but I mean, you just, it is no way you're going to be able to know every little detail about it all. Vietnam's, there's the Turkey, there's Thailand, there's, uh, Tunisia, Tunisia, Somalia, Rhodesia. So like I say, I'm a very big collector of a lot of this, a lot of this stuff that needs to be um picked up and put in two by two flips and um like i say definitely be looked over definitely be scoped out shillings come back here from half pennies now this is what i needed to look at so that's a 1948 so you're going to be looking for the 1933 for sure that's the one i'm going to be looking for so my bad didn't put you down there so a lot of half pennies this is stuff that i kind of got overseas when i was ever in um over like i say in um i can't get it out over in um uh, uk and stuff like that looking around it's like super 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 old. see if i get this one out i don't know i can't do it with one hand i got so much okay there we go just really old super old stuff 1885 And that's going to be Victoria. Nope, my bad. Yeah, Victoria. Just really cool on the age that you can get on a lot of this stuff. And like I said, this, this right here is, is probably, it says one penny on there, eighteen eighty five. I mean, this, this is probably only a few cents whenever you go inside somewhere. It's, I mean, maybe if those people don't know much about the coins and maybe if, you know, you go into... Like I said, a pawn shop somewhere and they're selling a whole bag of this stuff for a few dollars. It's probably best to pick them up, check it through. I mean, you can always use this stuff for collateral, giving it away later on. Like I said, giveaways and stuff. Or if you want to book it like I have here, you just go through and have everything set up in booklets or, you know, for your own good. Like I say, you can have it for if you're a rainy day. You know, you don't have much going on. Actually, I didn't write anything on these, I guess. I need to double check. Yeah, I need to double check and write some information on there. So...
10 centavos. That's silver there. So some more silver. We got some uh, Confederatio. So some more Switzerland stuff like that. Some more. Uh, I'm trying to make sure. I'm kind of gathering to see if I do have that 1933 George. Like I said, I've got a ton of coins, a ton of stuff stacked up. So all right. Well, that's kind of the binder there. But yet again, like I say, this stuff is easy collectible. It's probably way cheaper than what you're going to get. And, you know, whenever you go and buy like a, a slew of gold or, or silver or, or getting half dollars that's already graded or stuff like that. This stuff is fun. This stuff is fun. This stuff is, is a lot of it out there. There's a lot of people who don't want to look at it and they'll sell it to you pennies on the dollar. So definitely, definitely, definitely look into this stuff. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Just wanted to bring you video to kind of show you kind of the selections of coins, you know, through the pages and stuff. And then also the bill wise, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in these bills. I and mean, then you can buy them. They'll already have pre stamps. That's two ninety five for that. <clears throat> That's a pretty nice bill. It's already suited and stacked up. There's an Indonesia there, which was this Burma. Yeah. So then Bank of England, I got stuff here. So like I said, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool thing to do. Pretty cool uh, to have a, a collection. And, you know, I do bring y'all this stuff here just so it kind of intrigues you to want to collect a little more. It kind of intrigues you to, um, if it's not for you, if you want to get it for somebody else or send them a binder together or get them, you know currency and stuff like that if they're not into coins so pretty cool thing pretty awesome to have this um it is going to take a lot of time but as i mentioned if you do have any information on some of the coins that i i just flipped through if you want to stop the video and kind of take a gander at it please do it will help me out um i did reach out before with a lot of this stuff because i have no earthly idea on a lot of it so i'm going to be you know like I say working my 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 time on it it's probably going to take me several months to kind of get um, a hold of what's going on in this binder, unlike the American coins that I've been doing for the past few years. So anyhow, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and I hope you all have a great day.